I reddit her. What do you secretly judge people for? People's self-awareness, like when they watch TikToks loud in a quiet room without headphones, or not knowing how to act in certain establishments. I live in New York City and often take the subway. When someone is watching YouTube or TikTok on their phone next to me, full blast, I ask, Ooh, what are we watching? With an excited smile on my face. That usually prompts them to take out their headphones and watch privately. Mission accomplished. Now, this idea may or may not work for me. Do you come off like a psycho who's smiling, which makes it extra creepy? Or do you come off as that legitimately smiley person who's just too invasive but means well? Because if I did that, it would totally come off as serial killer. Considering this person does it when they're on the subway in New York City, people probably think they're some sort of drug addict, so people will put their headphones on thinking they'll get shanked or something if they don't. Ugh, I was on a flight, and there was this 20-something-year-old behind me blasting TikToks that I could hear through my soundproof headphones. I have no clue where there's no social awareness. So recently, I was on a flight, and I had three that day night. When I settle in for my last flight around 2 a.m., I put on my headphones and start watching something. Somebody nudged me, but I thought it was by accident. Then the young girl sitting next to me finally told me my headphones weren't connected. I was on full volume to hear through my headphones. I was a little embarrassed. When people don't clear their tables and leave rubbish behind at food courts or fast food restaurants. Add movie theaters to that list. People are animals. I feel so bad for the staff of these places. I see movies pretty often and every time people leave their seats in absolute disgusting states. Ursh, this annoys me so much. In all of the malls in my city, they've gotten rid of the bins, so the expectation is you leave the rubbish on the table and the cleaners will take it. But it makes me feel like a bad person every time. Things they decide to post online. No one will support me in this, but I suffer from, I challenge everyone to copy and paste this into their status to show support. I bet no one will, because no one cares. I always feel like replying, oh shut up with this passive aggressive guilt and manipulation. If no one likes you, it's because of crap like this, not because you suffer from. I do not give Facebook or Mark Zuckerberg permission to use my photos in any capacity. Sorry Susan, you already did when you clicked sign up letting their kids act like assholes and pretending not to notice. However, I don't judge them if I can tell they're stressed and trying their best. Sometimes kids will act like assholes no matter what. It's really more about how the parents act. At a blow-up planetarium projector show yesterday, this lady's kid keeps slapping the floor to hear the echo over and over. I ignore it, whatever, kids are kids. Then the kid starts jumping and falling back on the inflated wall, causing the projection to bounce for everyone in attendance. Not just a couple of times, but over and over. The kid was like five. No way am I remotely upset at the kid, but the mom, who is sitting right next to the kid. Christ, what an asshole. How they talk behind someone's back. I like saying nice things behind other people's backs. I've had a few of those come back around myself, and it's a special joy learning that someone says nice things about you when you aren't there, so I try to spread that. I do this at work all the time. I gossip positive shit about my coworkers, keeps things upbeat and really throws people for a loop. This, I was a judgy teenager, but now that I'm grown, I realize it was something I learned from my grown woman of a mother. She still does it now, and it grosses me out so bad. She will literally talk shit about her nieces and nephews every chance she gets. It's awful, and I hate it so much. Same, my mother either gushes about the most mundane shite other people's adult kids are up to, or she has to tear them to shreds with a particular focus on their weight or looks. She was visibly rattled when I asked her how someone's weight was relevant to the story she was telling me. I've had to really try to stop behaving the same way too. Took me way too long to realize how I was repeating unhealthy behavior like this. Not putting shopping carts back at the corral. I literally always do this, but there was a grocery store employee on here once, saying he preferred when he had to wrangle the carts himself because it meant he got to spend more time outside and away from the shitty store with his shitty manager barking orders at him. I still always put the cart away, but now I think about that dude and feel a little bad about it. That wasn't me, but I worked at a Walmart as a side job when I moved to a new city, instead of being at home feeling mopey and lonely, and we all felt the same way. Every time you went on a shopping cart run, it was like an extra paid break in your day. You weren't dealing with customers, bosses, tedious tasks. The best was when you had to walk the perimeter of the strip mall to get carts from several stores down. Help rejecting complainers. I call these people assholes. I have an employee who is great at his job, but complains nonstop about his health. Any recommendation to improve his condition is countered with all the reasons he can't go to the gym, run, diet, etc. Now I just ignore his gripes and keep everything work-related. 
Well, to be fair, sometimes people are dealing with health-related issues which are above and beyond what some generic recommendations to go to the gym or to diet can account for. I am not saying that is always the case, and certainly there are just lazy people and people who don't want to help themselves, but there are also people who need help and haven't yet found the answer and who are struggling, so don't immediately discount these people, is all I'm saying. As someone with a chronic condition, everyone has an opinion on what you should be doing to get better or become a healthy person. I've heard them all, and it's exhausting to explain how their healthy person perspective is not accurate. Going to the gym, dieting, drinking more water, etc. Those things either don't help or are almost impossible to do. I get chronic migraines, among other things, and no amount of essential oils, massages, stretching, correct posture, drinking water is going to help. The thing that finally started helping was Botox for migraines and a combination of preventative medicine and acute migraine treatment meds. People who talk a lot, like people who are just bullshitters. They say lots of words and nothing ever materializes. I can't help but judge those people like it's my career. I do this a lot, but usually it's cues I'm nervous. As soon as I walk away, I began feeling ashamed for even opening my mouth, lol. 99% of the time, you can tell the difference between a nervous talker and someone like OP described. You're probably fine, bud. Not having social awareness, talking loudly in a restaurant, taking up a space on the sidewalk to take photos, holding up a line at a restaurant, etc. Both my parents, exactly. Walk around the house yelling into their phone, watch videos without headphones at max volume with every door in the room open, stopping randomly walking in the street. It's just inconsiderate not caring enough to grasp the difference between your and your. The difference between knowing your shit and knowing your shit. The big one for me of late is it's versus it's. Same with possessive apostrophes like sisters versus sisters. It seems there's very little cultural pressure anymore to be an adult who knows how to spell and punctuate. My theory is the slow demise of the apostrophe is driven by smartphone autocorrection in particular, where it's equally likely to suggest the correct or incorrect word, and the user, if they're already inclined toward ignorance or apathy, can't be arsed to think it matters. People who date assholes and then complain about them, being assholes. Like, you know this girl cheated on her last boyfriend. You know this guy is on terrible terms with his last three girlfriends because they said they felt misled, used, and yet you chose to date them. Not saying anyone deserves to be treated that way, but what the fuck were you thinking? I judge people who shit on things that make other people happy. The perfect example is the pumpkin spice haters. I don't even like pumpkin spice, but I'm not about to shit on something that makes someone happy. I don't know if anyone else has noticed this, but regular, boring old life just sucks most of the time. Like, everything is expensive, always having to wake up earlier than you want to. Administrative shit in day-to-day -day life is harder than it needs to be. The kitchen is dirty again. The laundry never ends. Spam calls. Nobody knows how to drive in the rain snow. Your boss is a dick. Adulting can just suck. Just let people enjoy their yums without all your yuck getting in their way. Find a better hobby. I judge men for not washing their hands after using the bathroom. Women too. Those people deserve to be judged. It's kind of scary how many men don't wash their hands after touching their junk. 